Hello everyone, I'm Ismin Ahmed, grade 6. Today I'm going to be a teacher with Miss Omnia. I'm a step-by-step -step academy and today I'm going to talk about countable and uncountable nouns. Be uh, before we begin, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for this video and let your friends and family um, learn the countable and uncountable nouns. And write down in the comments when we finish what's your uh, opinion about this uh, video. And let's begin. First, I'm going to explain the noun. Noun is a person, place, animal, or a thing. Person, like a teacher or student. Um, a place, like a hotel or a house. Animal, like a um, kangaroo or a monkey, cat or dog, any animal. Thing, like an object. Thing, like an object, um, like for example, bed, closet, carpet, um, pencil, eraser. Any object. Now uh, let's underline the nouns. Uh, Canada is a large country. So Canada is the noun because Canada is a place. My teacher is beautiful. Teacher is a noun because teacher is a person. The dog and cat are friends. Dog is a noun because dog is an animal. And cat is a noun because it's an animal. And friends is a noun because it's a person. Okay, countable noun and uh, nouns end with S E S I E S V E S. Um, a or an. A or an, like a, a dog, an apple. Okay, uh, we use a or an in countable nouns. A dog or an apple. So it often can be counted. Um, countable nouns often can be counted. Like I have a book. I have a book. A means that only one book. I have a book. We could we shouldn't say or we couldn't say um, I have a books. It doesn't match. We shouldn't uh, we should not add s at the end. It doesn't match. I have two books. Uh, so it's uh, the this is a plural sentence. This is a um, singular sentence because here a, a singular because a book and here two books. It needs s. For example, like three sisters, s three sisters. Any noun we add s at the end. If we want it like a plural, es if more than. One and if it ends with X O S S S S H C H, it means that E S if we uh, if it's more than one, okay, and if it ends with X O S S S S H C H, for example, tomato ends with O, so uh, it's going to be tomatoes with E S at the end. Um, for example, like um, sandwich, sandwich, it, uh, it ends with C-H, so it's going to be sandwiches, E-S at the end. Okay, now some ex exceptions. Some exceptions means um, that some nouns don't have rules. Uh, like mouse, mice, man, men, ox, oxen. So now we finish the countable nouns. The uncountable noun, don't use a or an. We don't use an uncountable noun, a or an. We don't add s or es. And it often can't count. Here are uh, some examples. Um, we can't count bread, but we can count loaves of bread. Loaves, for example, like two loaves of bread, six loaves of bread, um, like a number, then loaves of bread. <coughs> We can't count coffee, but we can count cu uh, cups of coffee. Cups of coffee, like um, we can count coffee. We can't count coffee, but we can count cups of coffee to know like how much coffee did we drink. Uh, let's and uh, I will answer this cups of coffee. I uh, drink two cups of coffee. So you should answer it by a number. Two cups of coffee, three cups of coffee, and whatever. Um, how many? How many plus the plural noun plus the auxiliary verb 
plus the subject plus the infinitive. Like how many plus the apples is a plural noun. Did is an auxiliary verb. Subject is you and the infinitive is have. How many apples did you have? Let's answer it with a number. I had two apples. I had two apples. Two, okay? I had two apples. Um, how much? Let's say how much. How much plus the uncountable noun plus the auxiliary verb plus the subject plus the infinitive. So, how much here? And uncountable noun like coffee here. Did is an auxiliary verb, you is an subject, and have in the infinitive. Let's answer it. How much coffee did you have? I had three cups of coffee. Okay, now we finished the uncountable nouns and let's go to the other um, uh, exercise that we make. Now I, uh, let's ex uh, explain the VES. If the word ends with F or FE, for example, wife, it ends with FE, so it's going to be wives. We will remove the FE and add VES. For example, knife, we will remove the FE and add um, V-E-S in loaf loaf of bread like this okay loaf it ends with F so we remove the F and add V-E-S I-E-S if the word ends with Y for example baby we remove the Y and add I-E-S babies family we remove the Y and add I-E-S and it's going to be families boy um, <coughs> it's, um, it's going to be Boys, so let's explain why did here um, we didn't add IES because in uh, these two uh, examples, baby before before Y we have a silent letter, so we only going to add um, IES, and here also we have before the Y a uh, silent letter, so we are going to remove the Y and add IES. Here we have a vowel before the uh, Y. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Okay? A, E, I, O, U. Here we have O, so we are going to add only S. Now, um, um, candy. We will remove the Y and add IES because we before the Y we have a silent letter, so it's going to be candies. Now we finished. I have some extra uh, exercises for you. Um, write it in a paper and tell me down in the comments uh, the answers. Here I'm going only to read the uh, questions. How space glasses of orange juice did she drink? Okay. You answer it with often, many, lemonade, much. We don't have an space, chicken soup. A, an, some, any. How old, many, much, often, bread did you have? Here we have a rearrange, uh, like it's uh, opposite words like exchange. Here how many, nada, coffee, have. Uh, did cups off so answer it and tell me down in the comments don't forget um, he lemonade two off had cans you soup much have how did okay so you answer it down in the comments and don't forget to like share and subscribe and goodbye